Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, No Cap Cap, and we are back on the yard, but this time to talk about something that a lot of people here at Howard love, and some actually kind of don't love. I only rock the up when I pop out. Pull up in that point, then I hop out. Bag full of bands, brought the bag. We are going to play a game of pop out or no pop out with Irie here. Are you ready? Okay, so now first and foremost, do you believe in popping out? Yes or no? Hell yes. Oh yes, I'm all here for the pop out, the heels, the high-waisted jeans, the tight dresses. If you're with it, like I'm with it. Do you believe that Howard's pop out culture should stay or do you think that it should be thrown away? Honestly, I feel like it should stay, not even because it's a pop out culture. It's just what makes Howard us. Yeah, of course, part of our uh, Howard culture. Um, I think we should keep it because it's a part of the culture, like this is what we learn, this is what we do. There was recently like a debate on Howard Twitter about um, throwing away Howard's pop-out culture actually and many people argue that it's because as black people we have to dress with a certain type of excellence in everything that we do. Do you believe that or no? I mean, of course, but at the same time I feel like that doesn't play into the pop-out culture only because like popping out isn't something that we do for each other, it's something that we do for ourselves. Mm, it could, you know, it could be a mental thing, but I personally feel like when you look good, you feel good, and you do good. PWIs, they don't really pop out, or do they, in your opinion? No, they don't. We all know that. They don't. They go to class in, like, t-shirts and gym shorts. How they look going to class isn't really a thing. The same way we have a yard culture, the yard culture isn't really there. The same way that we have any activity coming up on the yard, they don't have that. So I feel like that just plays into the fact that why we dress the way we do. There's always something going on here, literally always something going on. What is your ideal pop outfit for the homecoming tailgate? For the tailgate? Yeah, you gotta go all out. I'm coming out flexing. I'll probably put up with a CDG, you know, my Shiano belt, the Subi jeans with some ones on. Ooh, he literally had the whole fit, designers, everything lit, ready. I'm all here for the knee-high boots. So whatever with the knee-high boots, a nice little dress. You know, I got nice legs. I'm a dancer out here, you know. Okay. Hmm, okay, so for homecoming, you gotta show out because it's homecoming, right? But if it's gonna be the tailgate, you need to be comfortable, something that you can move around in because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking and a lot of uh, turning up. Yes, yeah, so now you're going with some block heels or are you going with just straight like fly sneakers? Honestly, knowing me, I'll probably do both. Good to do a little switcher. Go back to the room, come back. Well, you know how Irie is going to be at the homecoming tailgate, so look out for her. And now I'm about to throw it to my man Kachi for what you rocking. All right, y'all. Thank you, No Cap Cap. It's your man Kasha Dawn with my brother, Kid Ken. How you doing, brother? Oh, yeah, I'm kicking it, you know what I'm saying? Out here in the yard, it's hot. We're about to go to class, you know? I feel you. So, for this edition, we're going to talk about pop out culture, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the yard trying to see what people's rocking. What they think is hot, what they think is not, what is fashion, what is not fashion, what they go away, what they not go away. All that is down the third. But this edition is very special to me because I'm from New York. So. Fashion capital of the world. Uh huh. Can you say that one more time? The fashion capital of the world. Danae, can you please tell the people that New York is the fashion capital of the world? Um, sure, yeah. Mm hmm. All right, off to a good start. <laughs> I don't know if I can agree with that or not. All right, it's a fashion capital. Okay, well, look. Uh, I don't know. Okay, you know all what? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, come here. So on, on the thing, you got to say yes. Oh, right, you okay, got to okay. say yes. Right, okay, right. okay, so, okay, cool, okay, cool. okay, okay. All right, cool. Now, Gerald, can you please tell the people that New York is the fashion capital of the world? Oh, yeah, most definitely. See, I'm telling you. Off to a good start. So, I'm going to give you two options. Okay. You go choose between which one you'd rather wear, okay? Okay. All right. A Nike tech suit or a Haley Hansen bubble coat? Give me the tech suit, sir. Nike tech suit. Okay. Diapers or pull ups? <laughs> Same. Boohoo jeans or a Fashion Nova bodysuit? Uh, Fashion Nova bodysuit. I'm going with the bodysuit. Polo boots or Tim's? Depends on the pull-up boots. You cook it to beef and broccolis, but nah, nah. I, I might go with the Tim's. The Tim's. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Man. <laughs> I, uh, uh, give me the Tim's. Give me the Tim's. Mm -hmm. Wear the Tim's. Yes, thank you. Next, you wearing your slides or your booties? Now, in the springtime on the yard, gonna see a lady. Right. You go wear Vans or Converse? Vans. Vans. 
of Converse are classics though. Like Vans came from Converse, come on. Listen, I got the Vans in my room, you heard me? So, you know, I gotta pick what I own, you know? Fenty slides or stiletto heels? Stiletto heels. I'm a heels type of girl. How tall? How tall? Four or five inches. Oh, she a mm, kind of woman, okay. <laughs> I'm stiletto heels. When you buy to eat, you wanna get real nice, make sure the food don't stay in your nice designers. You wearing a bib or a scarf? A bonnet or a do-rag? I'm gonna go with do-rag. A bonnet? The do-rag can't hold my hair. Do you see how much? Last question. Dad caps or do-rags? Do-rags, son. Uh -huh. You can't wear a dad uh -huh. cap. Uh-huh, you feel me? Always gotta wear the do-rag, silky on your head. This is where I'm at. Like, if I'm in the calf, if I'm out, I'll put the dewy on. But if I'm, out, if I'm leaving Howard's campus, I'm putting the dad cap on. Okay, okay, versatile. We got versatile. All right. Well, I had a good time with my main man, Kid Cam, at you 20 You know how it goes. I'm going to pass to my girl, Savenchi, for Name That Icon. Thanks, Kasha Don. You already know what it is. You're rocking with your one and only Savenchi. Now, today, we're going to be putting people to the test if they know their icons. We're naming this game Name That Icon. Straight to the point. No fancy names. We're getting right to it. So, we got my guy, Makaya. What's up? What you repping? Uh, what you... Los Angeles, HU21. HU21, okay, okay, I'm HU21 too, so we out here. All right, so basically, we're gonna get into this game called Name the Icon, right? So I'm gonna be stating three facts for each icon, and with those three facts, you're gonna figure out who the icon is. Sounds easy, right? All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. So the first one, she doesn't go by her real name, she has her own day in her country, and the first woman to win Shoe of the Year Award. Name that icon. She won a year award. Man. <laughs> no clue. Oh God. I'm gonna go with like Rihanna. Yes, one point. Next one. Before his current marriage, he was engaged to designer Alexis Fire. Rockefeller Records were reluctant to sign him as a rapper. And the bear on his first three album covers name is Dropout. Name that icon. Kanye. Kanye, okay, okay, you got one. <laughs> she is smart. Dropout. Kanye? Kanye. <laughs> Boom, he got it. All right. Now the next one. He has a partnership with Gucci. It's from Harlem, New York. And has styled people like LL Cool J, Naomi Campbell, and many others who are associated with hip-hop. Name that icon. Wait, say that again. Ooh, that's the one. That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Um. Is it Dapper Dan? Dapper Dan? He got it. He's really like fashionable, honestly, and he's smart. So that's what's up. Okay, now if you get this last one, Marcus, like you're the smartest guy in the world. All right. So she's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She knows how to solve a Rubik's cube, and she lost best dress in high school. But like, come on now, she's really best dressed. Name that icon. <laughs> all right, Marcus. See, I thought you were the smartest no. one. <laughs> that's not specific at all. You said she from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, you said it wrong. Um, is it you? <laughs> Girl, it's me. You knew it. All right, all right, all right. All right, y'all. It's hot out here. As y'all can see, I'm really hot. But it's okay, though. We still rocking. So, you are smart. We just want to say that. Tanasha is super smart. It is what it is. But you already know the yard talk. Pop out or no pop out. You already know what it is. Spotlight Network. We're wrapping it up. It is what it is. Yeah. Hey y'all, it's your girl No Cap Cap and we just want to thank you for watching another episode of Yard Talk. So now you know exactly how you can contribute to Howard's pop-up culture when you step on campus. But remember when popping out to always remain true to yourself. So whether that means wearing Converse and jeans, as long as you're remaining true to your own personal style, then you're popped out. Boom, and that's a fact, No Cap Cap. You want to be a fashionista, a trendsetter, whatever the case is, you got to know your history, you got to know the icons, Rihanna, Dapper Dan, Kanye, you name it. And they can also influence your style, so you gotta know these things. And your style could be anything. It could be your Jordans, with your tech suit, or it could be just a little heels with your Fashion Nova dress. But at the end of the day, there's only one thing that you have to have. Y'all have these silk, you know what I'm saying? Let me just show y'all. Just show y'all the drip real quick, you know what I'm saying? Okay, flavor. Flavors. I got 23 do rags. Can shop. Out. Michael Jordan number 23.